what is the definition of circumstance how we can define this we can uh, modify a rule based on some condition on rules circumstance can be applied on rules a rule can have multiple variants of versions based on condition a rule can have multiple variants of versions based on conditions based on conditions generally we can save as we can save as a rule to higher rule set version right we can save as a rule to higher rule set version and modify its behavior but using circumstance we can modify the rule within we can modify rules behavior within same version by applying a condition on the rule so it will be on the it is directly on the rule not not after you create rule and go inside and apply visibility conditions or you apply some when conditions it is not like that it is directly on the rule itself you are going to apply the condition that is what circumstance in means so that means your rule so a rule can have multiple circumstance versions a rule can have multiple circumstance versions here you can see on the screen update agency details okay so here update agency details has one circumstance instance created based on condition what is the condition this condition gender is equal to male it can be any condition like this we can create a number of conditions so now so whenever you are going to create a circumstance condition at runtime at runtime process commander checks the condition first checks the condition first and okay wait one one more point i want to write down the condition rule is called circumstance instance whereas original rule original rule is called base version base version or base instance you can say anything at runtime process commander checks the condition if condition is met if condition is met what will be executed circumstance instance will be picked else base instance will be picked and processed this is clear so this is what a circumstance does now here we have two types of circumstance let me write down the names of the circumstances two types one is single property and the second one is multi property or template circumstance single property or multi property or template circumstance single property means condition involves only one property with an optional date property with an optional date property i'll talk about it in one minute so here condition involves multiple properties condition involves multiple properties 
So to work with multi property circumstance, we need to create different rules. To implement this, we need to create two different rules. Those are circumstance template, circumstance definition. These are the two different rules that we need to create under technical category. Okay, so let me show you single property circumstance again. Here you go, specialized by circumstance. So here you can go ahead with property and date. If you choose this, this is single property circumstance. If you go to template, it will ask you different rules. What is template and what is definition? In those rules, we'll be having multiple conditions based on multiple properties. Okay, so the single property circumstance will have an optional date qualifier. See, you can give start date and end date. You choose a property and start date and end date. Now, the circumstance will be applicable only between these dates. Suppose, suppose you have a given a condition x is equal to y and a date is there from today to next month, this month 31st. So, after 31st is completed, what happens? Even though condition is met, this instance will not be picked. So, whenever you are going to add a circumstance condition, with an optional date qualifier. If date is also mentioned, then within the date range only circumstance will work. After the date is passed, even though circumstance condition is met, it is not going to execute circumstance version at all. That is the need of date. So generally, suppose if you are creating any rule, so price list rule if you have created something, or discounts rule and all, you can apply condition of date. Okay, when you apply the condition of date, only within the date, date range, this discounts rule will be picked. After date is passed, it is going to execute the original rule. Okay. So like this, you can go ahead and use circumstancing for your rules. Okay. Let me go ahead and delete this circumstance version. And we'll go ahead and look at what rules you can do circumstancing for. There are n number of different rules in Pega. Which rule types you can do circumstance. Suppose if you have opened flow action, Go to save as, you see specialized by circumstance. Sections, you see the same. Activities, you see this. Decision table, decision tree, all those rules, declared rules. Most of the rules will have this option. Property, you cannot circumstance. Suppose if you open property, go to save as drop down, you will not see these options. Because property cannot be circumstance. Because property itself requires, uh, sorry, circumstance itself involves properties. Classes, you cannot do circumstance. Rule sets you cannot do circumstance. So like this, there are certain rules which you cannot do circumstance. You can remember as of now, properties, classes, rule set, these we cannot do circumstance. Remaining rules we can do circumstance. There is one separate set of rules which you can never do circumstancing. I will tell you later when we come across with that. Okay. So we can do circumstance. We can create circumstance instances for many rules in Pega except I am going to name some of the rules which I know property class rule set etc we cannot do Okay, also, also, circumstancing is not possible for data instances. What is this data instances? I will tell you sometime later at this point when we come across, but as of now, let it be in the notes. Circumstancing is not at all possible for data instances. Property, class, rule sets and all, you know, but data instances, okay, let me give you an idea about data instances today let me complete this maybe tomorrow we can work on this okay this is up to this everyone clear generally what is circumstancing all about 